In this video I'm going to show you how to use dispersion Photoshop action. So I'm going to use this photo here as an example for a demonstration. And uh, how the action actually works is you just open up your photo and uh, you just brush over the areas that you wish to disperse. And you're choosing the shape of the dispersed parts and also you're choosing the uh, direction in which will be uh, parts will be spread. Okay, So you can choose from four different directions, right, left, up and down. And you can choose from two different shapes, circle and heart. And I will make an update with a lot more shapes. Okay, So, uh, and then all you have to do is to uh, play the action. Okay, So, as you can see, I have expanded the canvas here. Uh, so, I had more of the effect visible. And this is the effect that I'm going to create. Okay. Okay. So just open your photo, brush uh, or there is a twist to disperse. Choose the shape and direction and click play. Okay. So just close these two windows now and let me just show you a few more examples that I got. Okay. That I created uh, with these actions. So from this photo, I can just brush over there, play the action. Okay, so let's get back to our photo. So when you open up your photo, uh, before you play the action, there are just a couple of small things that you need to check, okay? So you can just, uh, first the thing that you should check is that your photo is a background layer, okay? So uh, it should be called a background that you have this lock icon. So if it's something like this or anything else, just go to layer new and choose background from layer, okay? And uh, also click on this little arrow here and go to uh, panel options and just make sure that add copy to copied layers and groups is checked okay and also your photo uh, go to image mode and your photo should be in rgb color mode at bit channel and you can just go here the image size click there uh, your photo should be at least uh, 1500 pixels wide or high okay and uh, resolution should be 300 dpi okay so just gonna click OK, and uh, to load the action, you just go to Window Actions, and just click on this little arrow here to get the drop-down menu. And just choose the load actions from here, and just choose the dispersion action that can be downloaded. Okay, and the action will be appeared over here, and as you can see, you got the uh, circle shape in, in four different directions and the heart shape in four different directions. And as I said, I will make an update with the uh, I've actually make uh, updates with the uh, uh, with a lot more shapes. Okay. So and uh, you have to load the pattern. So just go here, click the right click, and choose the pattern stamp tool, and just click on this letter here. Now click on this little gear, and go to load patterns. And all you have to do is to just choose the dispersion pattern shapes uh, file that can be downloaded. Okay. So you have these six. Uh, shapes, uh, patterns, okay, and uh, what you have to do now is to just go to layer new and choose a layer and just name it brush and this is very important step, okay, so all letters must be lowercase, okay, this layer must be called brush and all letters lowercase, so just click OK. Now just pick a brush tool and just gonna use a soft brush and make sure that the bra opacity of the brush is 100, okay, and you just now have to brush over the areas uh, that you wish to Disperse and before that, I, I'm going to expand the canvas. So to go to image canvas size and just do a, change this to pixels and I'm gonna check reality option and just gonna click here. So I uh, add more space over here, okay? So I want to have more of the effect visible as I want to play the uh, right direction uh, uh, action, okay? And I'm just gonna type here 2000 pixels like this and what you can do now, just select the background layer and uh, you can make the selection like this. So just select this new white area and a little bit of your photo and just go to edit, fill and choose the content aware option. Okay. Okay. So in most cases, this option will give you some great results. Okay. So now you just have to brush uh, uh, over the areas that you wish to disperse and play the action. Okay, I'm just gonna open my uh, PZ file because I already made the brushing. Okay, so just gonna close this window. Okay, so after you uh, 
finished with the brushing now just choose the action and all you have to do is to click play okay so I'm just going to use a hard shape and I'm going to use the right direction so uh, after you play the action you will get uh, the one pop-up window okay with the message so I'm going to fasten the video here and get back when the that uh, pop-up window shows okay okay so here we got a message and it says in next pop-up window choose pattern dispersion hard pattern one check scripted patterns option and choose random field script click continue to proceed so just click continue and uh, uh, here you have to choose the uh, hard dispersion hard pattern one okay so actually uh, always when you play the action you will need to if you have choose the hard shape you uh, you will have to choose the first hard pattern okay if I have chosen the circle pattern uh, the circle shape I will have to select the first circle pattern here but okay but anyway you can always check it you just go to right click and click rename pattern you see its name okay so I have to select this one as I have played the hard shape uh, action so it says this special hard pattern one so just gonna select that and all these settings should be already set like this and you just uh, check the scripted patterns option and choose the random fill there okay and all you have to do is to click OK and uh, there should we need a few minutes to complete okay and uh, it depends on image size but it's actually finishing uh, pretty much fast and uh, uh, I'm going to fasten the video here and then going to get back when the action is finished and then I'm going to go throughout all the layers to show you how can you customize the effect that you got okay okay so the action here just up so first I will close the actions panel and uh, uh, first what you probably uh, want to do is to quickly close down all these folders okay because it's going to be uh, much easier to work with the layers so uh, all you have to do is to while this layer is uh, this group is selected it will be automatically selected by the action just hold control and down buttons for PC or command option for a Mac and just click on the layer here okay so that way we close down all the folders so let's see what we got here first we got a brush layer and uh, this is the brush layer that you can made at the beginning of the video and why you got this layer here so if you just remove these two groups uh, we can play the action again using a different shape or a different direction and also the, the action is made so every time you run the action you will get a unique result even if you use the same brushed area okay so if you just use the same brushed area the same direction the same shape you're going to use a slightly different result okay unique result okay the parts will be always a little bit different deployed and so on Okay, so let me just get back these two groups. So I'm just gonna turn off this layer for now. And let's go inside the dispersion folder. Okay, so these are adjustments. We got dispersion. This is the main effect. And first what we got here is the soft motion. Okay, so if you just click on the word opacity and drag it to the side, okay, if you drag it to the right side, you'll make it a more or if you move to the left side less visible, okay. So you can just click and drag and or you can also click this letter here and then just change the opacity value. So I'm just going to set value something like this. Okay. And now uh, what we have here are the small parts. Okay, they are fully layered as well as the medium parts and the large parts. Okay, so they're sorted, uh, the parts are sorted by the size and we got the blurred parts. Uh, and each of these parts you can select any of those layers and pick a lasso tool go to right click and free transform and you can rotate those parts okay uh, you can move them uh, you can scale them uh, okay you can even add a blur and blur them uh, what you can also do you can duplicate them okay so just go to duplicate layer and you can then create more parts just in seconds you can even duplicate the whole groups okay just like this just select the folder and create a lot more parts okay uh, and if there is some part that you would like to remove you can simply just hide the layer okay and uh, remove the part and you can also select these uh, uh, main layer mask okay so this is the uh, layer mask for the small parts so when you brush black on the into this layer mask you'll remove any of the small parts okay so for example if you just brush over here and start removing the, the, the small parts okay and you can also remove the medium, large, and blur parts in the same way. Okay. And uh, if I remove some of the parts, you'll see that there is some kind of a border around there. And this is actually uh, from this layer here, this overall sharpening. So I'm giving a sharpening. And uh, if you customize the result, okay, if you if you create more parts, move some parts, something like that, 
uh, then turn off this layer and make it again at the end of the video okay because uh, at the end of the customization because uh, this layer is giving a sharpener parts and uh, uh, if you for example move these layers let's just move this group like this there will be uh, still the lines that were giving the sharpener parts okay there will still left there okay so you just have to if you move any parts duplicate create more parts rot them okay if you customize this result just turn off this layer so and make it again at the end of the customization okay so just gonna turn it off and get back over here so you can also use the auto select option so just make sure you get the layer here to select any of the parts and just move them around okay and also for example want to remove this part and you don't know where it is here in the layers you can just select it and it will automatically select but you have to have this layer turned off to use this option okay so actually i'm pretty much happy with this result and um, maybe we'll just remove some of these blurred parts let's just okay so what you can do can you also add the layer mask there so you can always uh, and just brush with the black to remove the some of those blurred parts. You can always uh, hold Control or Command for Mac and just click here to make a selection to see which one, which parts are from that layer. So, and you can always brush white into this layer mask to get back those parts. Okay. And just brush. Uh, also, remove this one. Just make sure you're brushing with a uh, black. So just gonna remove it like this. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna lay it like this, and uh, let me just close these folders. And uh, what we got here is the parts contrast layer, and it's giving a contrast only to your parts. So you can also click on the word opacity and just click and drag. Okay and we're just gonna use something like this okay so that was the dispersion effect and we got this main layer mask to remove the effects if you wish on any place okay so let's go to adjustments uh, what we have here is the add color layer adjustment layer so it's giving some nice color to your photo and if you like you can double click there and you can just uh, you can customize okay uh, the settings here to create uh, a different color looks okay and you can always get it back uh, to original by clicking once on this arrow here okay so just going to use this original settings and here we got to add photo tint and when you double click there okay you can choose any of the filters here you can just add the density example, like this and then just change these uh, filters to change the colors and you can also change the opacity okay uh, not going to use the photo tint now and here we got the vibrance so when you double click here again this video here what you can do you can change the vibrance and the saturation of your photo just like this okay So let's just make some nice settings there. Okay. And this is the overall contrast and it's giving the contrast to the whole photo. Okay, so you can also just click on this word opacity and drag. And uh, be careful of that it's very sensitive as you can see. Okay, from zero and one hundred it's a big very big difference. So just gonna use something like this. Okay. And now uh, I'm just going to make this layer again, so just delete, remove it, and just make a new layer. Go to image, Apple image, click OK, and just go to filter, other high pass, and set radius to 2 pixels, and just choose the blending mode, linear light, OK? And you can now, by changing this opacity here, control the amount of sharpen, OK? I'm going to use some high value like this. So, and you can see the difference. Okay, so I'm pretty much happy with this effect, and uh, so that's it, and I hope you understood everything, 
Okay, and if you still need any help or you got any questions, feel free to contact me anytime via my Envato profile page. Okay, thanks.